good day and welcome back to everything windows in this video we're going to install the 7 on windows xp using vmware workstation version 10.0.7 which is the last version of vmware workstation that supports windows xp as a host operating system want to know what happens keep watching to find out So here we are in a VMware workstation version 16 running Windows XP x64 bit edition running VMware version 10.0.7 build 2844087. So what I'm about to do now is a bit different than what I usually do. Well, not pretty much entirely different aside because I already installed Windows XP on Windows 98 using Kinetics Virtual VC version 4.1 and I'm pretty much apologize if I don't talk that much because I have a spell in my mouth and yeah so let's create a new virtual machine yeah I know it's the typical one but yeah I want to stop pressing later on the 7, no, I'm gonna install, not gonna install the 64 version because that'll take so much space. And I'm going to do this space about, well, 12 because I gave the virtual machine 16 gigabyte and the free space is about 10.6. The installation of Windows 7 is typically about 5 to 10 gigabytes. So the worst case scenario. The VM or the Windows XP will run out of space and going nuts, but I hope it won't. So, give 12 gigabytes and finish. And the CD is already present, and the memory. No, I don't want to get. Yeah, I'll get it two gigabytes, and the number of course will be two, and we're gonna virtualize Intel virtualization technology, and going to OK and power on the virtual machine straight away yes yeah i don't running vmware workstation in a virtual machine rules out in degraded performance do you want to continue yes of course because i want to run windows 7 on windows xp which is the thing that i myself never done before and first impression the vm is quite slow but I hope it won't and it, okay I've already configured the VM the VMware workstation that I am here to configure the hotkey as control shift rather than control alt which configures to my main one so it doesn't interfere so if I'm going to mount or if I'm going to capture this one and to you see to release input press control shift so control shift and that's okay so before we go while we're installing we'll, we'll just talk about a bit of vmware workstation so this is version 10 we just released in 2015 so i hope it will go faster than i than it was supposed to be so and yeah i'm gonna go next and the version this vmware supports up to windows 8 not 8.1 but just windows 8 but i hope probably it unofficially supports windows 8.1 and considering this is a 64 copy of windows xp it supports 64 version of guest operating system such as windows server 2003 2008 Windows xp vista and windows 7 also 8 and the support of Linux is quite a bit of a variety, even though it is only limited to some specific distros. And the novel network, I pretty much never really heard of that. And well, it's running. Solaris from version 8 up to version 11. And VMware ESX up from version 4 up to version 5. And the other is Ecom Station, FreeBSD. MS DOS and the other, and I don't know if it supports macOS X as a virtual as a guest operating system. And 
as I'm seeing it in the VMware across modern version, it apparently supports, which is kind of a bit of okay, and I run version 10.8 Mountain Lion with version 16, and I can't do that, or should I say, it is impossible to run macOS the modern version, quote unquote modern version, because 10.8 is quite old, it is from 2012. So, I can't run macOS as a guest on my old 2011 top. Yes, I'm talking about my old 2011 laptop again because I want to upgrade this, my old laptop, because I'm very hesitated by its performance. Yeah, because I run this laptop, the modern one, which is I already running right now. At about from August, maybe September, October, November, December, January, February, March, in about eight months. And the feeling that I have is very different. And considering that, I I consider this one, the main laptop, as the fast one rather than the 2011, which is very slow. And while it is doing that job, we're going to take a look at the my computer. Let's see if the space, yeah, free space is about 8 gigabytes now. Fresh 8.61, 8.61. Yeah, it'll reduce subsequently. So copying Windows files, yeah, installing Windows 7 is quite a bit slow, even though in my real machine or this one, this laptop, because, oh, it yeah, already, maybe the one stage that I want to consider slow is the expanding Windows files, because copying doesn't really that much of a slowness. So if we see in the space, it take about well, 1.42 gigabytes, and the expanding Windows files is, I think, one of the longest stage, considering the second stage, but in the first stage, expanding Windows files is one of the longest one. So, I'll consider myself to get some rest, uh, yeah, because it's first thing that I can't eat or drink. So I'll get some rest while I'm playing some games on my phone, while waiting this one to get at a, at a hundred percent. Installing updates, completing installation. This seems to be a bit faster than I was expected. I'm expecting it about 20 minutes to finish the first stage, but it is 10 minutes and it asks me to restart and that is much faster than I was expected. Two times faster though. And yeah, VMware is going to the second stage Windows 7 is about to boot starting windows control shift not to be confused with control alt and i can't move that to the other side well i think i could do that but it interferes so what i'm about to do is go into windows key and can't do that. Oh no. One thing that I can do is do that and pin and full screen again. So the second stage is about to start. And I hope it will run in a normal kind of speed. And I don't want to be to be so slow like what Windows XP or not yet had so i'll be back when it was into the oba
Okay, 10 minutes later, we are on to the OOBE. A win. Oh, thank God. I eventually get this installed. Product key? No, I don't want that as of now. Ask me later. Yes, well, the time zone is going to be my time zone, which is UTC plus 7 Bangkok, Hanoi, Jakarta. Next, public, maybe, finalizing your settings, and we're going to install VMware tools once it's going into the desktop or the wiping. So, I thought the VM is not really running well and correctly because as you see the wiping effect that only occurs when the VM or the machine is so slow that it only handle certain amount of actions in only just about the wiping so it it does the job but only do it like little by little by little and eventually it came out to an end Preparing your desktop. Yes. Oh no, my style is just so. Oh. My. <laughs> All right. So here we are in the desktop. Well, oh, it seems to be slow. So let's install VMware tools in here, just to make sure that it only lags no no cancel that yes no i don't want any update because it's from windows xp so it doesn't make sense right so i can't uh, yeah the computer is not responding right now even though i gave it two gigabytes of ram probably the processor affects the performance and oh no installing firmware tools it's loading yeah the wiping effect is still present preparing VMware tools okay nice job VMware workstation you managed to install the 7 meanwhile you're running on top of Windows XP meanwhile you're running on top of Windows Ten, which is VMception to be short. VMware has been installed, finished, and the wiping effect is still there. And also, we're going to try Windows 7 with Aero, which is, I don't know if it will gonna work or not, but let's see. It booted and going to enter the password, welcome, and the resolution just then is 1024 by 768. I guess it's already into the desktop. Oh yeah, it's already. But the background is not refresh enough. Oh, no, 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 no. What's up with the mouse? Oh, oh, oh. I pushed the mouse to the right, but the cursor decided to <laughs> stay right there. Maybe I could go for trackpad or oh, trackpad doesn't do the effect. Refresh. Ah, the background is right there. Oh, I can't rely on mouse as of now. I'm going to personalize and I'm going to go. It's so hard. Go to the top. Windows 7. I think it's not freezing. Yeah, I think it is freezing.
so choosing arrow is probably the worst case scenario. So well, at least we installed Windows 7 on Windows XP. So I'll see you in the next video of everything Windows. See you next time. Goodbye.